Hey everybody and welcome to week one of the Repentance Campaign. This is of course my campaign um, for Warhammer the Horus Heresy where over six weeks um, I'll be playing 1000 point, 1250, uh, 1500, 1750 and then some 2000 point games. Basically as a way of building up and having sort of like a community inclusive way of playing Horus Heresy where you build and paint as you go and you get to paint fairly early on not having to wait to have like a full 3,000 point army finished. I felt a little bad that my um, Raven Guard army was already painted in the box that came out, so I pledged I was gonna paint a new army. And as you can see, I've already started working on my first tactical squad from the new box set, um, a unit of five of the new Mark VI tactical marines for my Blood Angels, which is the, the legion I decided to actually um, build and paint. I wanted to have something that was at the like, Siege of Terror, uh, Terra all the way at the end, and not just be like, I don't know, sort of in the wings and like the shadow war that's happening outside the uh, the sort of the, the soul system. So, chose Blood Angels, started painting them up. I'm happy with the scheme. Um, I used the Mephiston Red Spray as a base tone, some washes to pick up the details, and then went through and highlighted up with, oh geez, I think it's Bow Red. It's a dry paint actually, but I just thinned it down and highlighted with it. Um, and then I used uh, just some Corvus Black for the weapon casings. Lead Belcher for all the metallics, uh, and just various washes and highlights after that. I also converted up and started base coating my Mark IV Marines. This is the Honor Guard for my Praetor. Um, and they're like they're not done yet, but you can see here the, the, the base coats and um, washes on two of them. And the conversion I did, I made some artifice armor. I used one of the Sanguinary Guard chest plates. Um, actually, I think it's just actually a Blood Angels. Maybe it's a Death Company chest plate uh, and bits and pieces from the Death Company kit to give them some chain swords. Um, they're just another tactical squad, but I wanted them equipped sort of like more heavily in an older Mark armor too to hang out with my Praetor. Um, so I started working on this as well. So basically like as a way of breaking up the monotony, having painted 40, 50 now Mark VI Corvus Marines um, for my Raven Guard, I decided I was going to change up Marks basically in between. So I'll do five Mark VI, five Mark IV, go back and forth. Um, and kind of reward myself for, for, for getting the, the 20 infantry busted out for my first thousand points. And that's my first week. So we, we're doing two weeks of building and painting uh, before we jump into our thousand point games. And so I wanted to do after I showed off what I've been working on is show off what other people have been working on too. So I started a thread um, in the Facebook group basically of the um, Repentance uh, campaign for people just to show what they've been working on all week. And I wanted to feature some uh, people who are, you know, like hard at work with the new box set and stuff like that. Tons of people posted their armies they've already got painted or units they're already working on for Horus Heresy, sort of like former Horus Heresy um, players from the first edition, stuff like that. And there's great stuff in there. So jump in the Facebook group and, and check it out. But I just wanted to highlight the people that have actually like cracked open the new box set and gotten right to work on it. And there's some cool stuff in here to show off. So most recently today, Steven Atticott, he's done this amazing, I think it's a, it looks like it's a Alpha Legion. Yeah, there's the shoulder pad. Alpha Legion Spartan with some really clean white details and lining and stuff like that. That looks awesome um, to show off today. Uh, Jay Mickelpede has got his base cuts down. It looks like he's doing the metallics with the washes over top of it, which is pretty cool. Mm, my boy Andrew Cheney out in Halifax, uh, he's working on some white scars. He got the rhino painted up, which looks great. He's painted up one of the new, um, it looks like, uh, Contemptors. He got some, oh geez, look at the new Praetor he's converted to. He's got that finished using bits from the Praetor. I like that he, he used some bits from the Praetor, but didn't use all of it and made his own. And then some Cataphracty to go with it too. That white scar stuff looks great. Good job, Andrew. Mm, what else is from the new box here? I'm trying to focus on the new box because there's there's tons of stuff that was being worked on before and some people really put like the miles in to, to get stuff done. Timothy Art did some beautiful, it looks like white scars as well. Really clean white he's working on. Uh, Alexander Mullaly got 10, no, it looks like 10, eight, seven. Oh, he did seven, of course he did seven. Seven of the new cataph or the not new, but the cataphracty done to go along with it. Uh, Scrolling up here. Benoit got some of the Mark IVs painted up in Sons of Horus as Legion veterans. He's given them a missile launcher and a great sergeant too. Good job, Ben. Showing those off. Oh, and Eric Swanson painted a gorgeous, a gorgeous like bunch of designs and stuff. Uh, I think he used some of the transfers as well for the text on its Mortis Glorium. A great looking Spartan. With a multi-melta, because of course with a multi-melta. 
Matt Street got his hands on a uh, Malagorst the Twisted, painted him up. That looks fantastic. And there's some great conversions in here too. Um, the new box had all converted up by Marshall Jones. Um, he's got them converted up as uh, some um, world eaters with the world eaters pads and stuff. I love the posing he's done on his Dreadnought. And he's got his test model done there too. And he painted up an Angron. Everyone start with the Primarchs, even though you can't use the Primarchs. Matt Rattenbury got all his base coats down on his Mark 6s too. Look, he's got some heavy weapon guys in there. Two new Rhinos, all kitted out. Everybody put the multi-melt on the Rhino, because of course we did. And then a Chris Boynton. It looks like these are going to be Sons of Horus. Yeah, he's used a neat like gray primer with a thin down green over top of it, it looks like, as his first base coat. And that looks fantastic. And whoa, Edward Charles Barfield with some really nice looking Death Guard. I like that they're like pre nurgly though. That's really cool. I like that color scheme. And then I have to like keep hitting all previous comments to go up and look at them all and I'll pull the pictures out afterwards. Oh, I can't get any more to load. Well, there we go. Uh, what else do we have? No, it won't load anymore. Well, I guess that's it then. That's telling me to cut it off. I can't get it to load anymore because there's so many comments on this thread. But go check out the thread. I'll start a new one for next week. So, so don't add any to it after this goes out because obviously there's going to be tons of stuff um, getting added to it going forward. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to show off more next week. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, look at what people have been working on. Uh, oh, I got, I got one more set to load. What else is cool here? Mm, Mohand Art posted some, whoa, some gorgeous Sons of Horus. Uh, and everything else is, looks like Michael Derushi did some Mark Threes. And it's got a beautiful collection of old miniatures in the background there too. And it's all stalled out loading again. So there we go, a look at what's going on. Join the Facebook group if you want to um, see what everybody's working on. There's one more building and painting week. Um, starting today until next Sunday, but obviously you have your whole first week to get a thousand point game in, so you get some extra time too. I'm gonna try and finish. I have 27 models in my core list. I have five done, two mostly done. So that leaves 20-ish to finish after I get all that finished. So I have the color scheme down. Now the hardest part for me is like figuring out the mechanical way that I'm gonna be building and painting everything. And now that I have that locked in, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get them finished by the end of next week or early the week after. And get in my first thousand point game for Repentance. I'm excited. Uh, my newly minted Praetor is gonna be taken to the field and will be thrown down all summer, obviously. Um, the campaign going all the way through till August. So it's it's week, the first week of building and painting is completed. T tons of work's gotten done in. Lots of beautiful paint jobs in there, so go check them out. Um, and yeah, and good luck painting your, your horse heresy stuff. So big thanks for watching, and we'll see you for another update next week. Don't mash. Okay. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Row Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.